again, Engineering Science, Mr Young here, back again with another video, this time on balancing forces, um, looking at forces acting on an object, usually like a beam or a seesaw, and looking to see if we can resolve uh, forces to find out whether this uh, seesaw is in uh, equilibrium or it's balanced. Um, so we'll show you how to do that, show you, talk about moments and what moments are, uh, and look at how forces, sort of the motion, different motions that forces will act on a an object like a seesaw or a beam, um, and look at a couple of more bits of the t terminology behind uh, this section of the course. Um, it can get a little bit complicated in a sense of the symbols that I'll be showing, but it's, it's, all, it's just meant to try and make it easier to kind of understand and like solve the, the actual problems that we're going to be faced with here. So looking at moments, looking at what moments are measured in, and looking at how to do a simple kind of moments calculation, right? And that's what we'll look at now. So you can see here when we're talking about balancing forces here, we're looking at, in principle, I've taken a, a simple example of a seesaw. So you've got two forces on the other, each end of the seesaw, so it could be two people for all you, all you know. And um, they'll both exert a force down. The bit in the middle here, the wee triangle is called the pivot. You probably uh, had a wee look at this before already with looking at uh, types of levers. Um, so you've got your pivot in the middle and if both people are, you know, the same mass, then the seesaw should balance itself out. It shouldn't be tipping towards one way or the other. So how we explain that is, is obviously F is your force. So what we say is that if there's only one force here, just say force number two is just sitting on this end of the seesaw on the right hand side then the seesaw will, without any other person on the other side, the seesaw will bend this way, or not bend, but turn this way so turn in a clockwise motion, just like the hands of a clock going in a clockwise motion. Now if it's re repeated on the other side, just one force here on this side and, and no other on the other then the beam will turn in this direction which is an anti-clockwise moment, or anti-clockwise motion, sorry I'll get to moments in a few minute. So anti-clockwise motion, so clockwise and anti-clockwise. And you can see here, we're, we're talking about uh, a seesaw and we're looking mostly in the kind of horizontal plane here, if you want to speak about that. Uh, so horizontal, uh, forces acting horizontally, or forces acting down, but on, on a horizontal beam, if you want to call it that. Um, so what we say is we're going to bring in this little symbol now. You've maybe seen this from maths or from maybe physics or something. But this symbol means the sum of or the total of. Okay, so what we say is that the sum of the clockwise moments, so all the moments on this side or all the uh, motions on this side are equal to all the the sum of the anti-clockwise motions on this side, okay? or anti-clockwise moments, and we'll come to moments, like I say, in a second, so it's still a, a real, it's still okay for me to say that. So that basically it's balanced, there's not one way or the other. And we can also say that this, uh, the sum of the, the sum of the forces, I'll grab my pen here, we can also say that the sum of the forces, other side, sum of the forces horizontally are equal to zero, I don't know if you can see that at the end there. So the forces acting on this horizontal uh, beam or seesaw are equal to zero, which means it, when I say it's equal to zero, I mean it's not move, moving one way or the other, it's balanced. Okay, it's important in engineering that, we, that these things are balanced because if it's moving one way or the other, or there's more force exerted down than there's a resultant force, then we've got trouble, we're going to have something that's going to collapse. Okay, so it's important that they're, they're, they're actually balanced. So taking this a little bit further now, looking at the next bit, again, still looking at a seesaw and looking at our force. Um, and obviously our force is acting over a distance to the centre point here, and it's the other force on this side here is acting along a distance as well, back to the same sort of centre point or pivot. Okay, now what we can say, I mentioned moment already with the anti-clockwise and clockwise motion, or I said anti-clockwise moment as well, because it's still the same thing, it's still acting, um, a moment's a force times a distance, as you can see here, and it's acting on this uh, seesaw. So, as I've just said, moment is force times distance, so it's a force acting on a distance, and it's, that's all we're going to use. From from now until when we look at the next wee unit here, next task in moments, 
it's just force times distance and that's all we're kind of focused on here. The force is measured in newtons as always, um, distance is measured in meters as always, so a moment is measured in newton meters because it's just the it's just the, the the two these two factors here to give you units for moment. Okay, so for our first example here, I don't know what to do with my chunky pen or my pencil here. We can see whether these are balanced or unbalanced. Okay, and the easy way of doing this is taking your force times distance. So if we say this is force one, and this is force two. All we're looking to see is if force one and force two are balanced, you know, balancing each other out. And you can always pretty much see that this is going to be the case. So uh, force one is a moment, force times distance, 10 times two is equal to 20 newton meters. And force two is again, 10 times two. I've kept it really simple to begin with, it's 20 newton meters. So we can say that they're, they're balanced, okay? So F1 is equal to F2, force one is equal to force two. The sum of the clockwise moment is equal to the sum of the anti-clockwise moments. Um, and the the forces, um, the sum of the forces in the horizontal, uh, this horizontal uh, seesaw, is equal to zero. Okay, we can claim all that because nothing's moving, everything's equally balanced. There's not one, no, there's not one thing that's shifting up or down. It's stable, or it's in equilibrium, which is another way of saying it's balanced. Okay, so that's example one, very simple. Example two, again quite simple here. You're looking at this, you might get something like this. Um, again, force one and force two. Now, is this balanced? Well, let's work it out here. Force one is equal to five times two. So that is equal to 10 Newton meters. And force two, even though it's got a longer distance here, it's got a slightly smaller force, is equal to two times five, which is 10 Newton meters. So again, this is balanced, so we can write balanced, we can write this as force one is equal to force two. And again, all the usual, the palaver I said down there, the, the sum of the clockwise and anti-clockwise moments are, um, are equal to each other. Okay, so two ways of doing that, kind of working out whether things are balanced or unbalanced. It's good, it's good experience of getting these, using this moments formula, or calculation or equation, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so it's a good way of using that. Last one here, what you might get, or just to begin with as well, is what is, is an unknown force? So we don't know what this is yet, so what, we can calculate this force. So we know this force, um, we'll call this just for F1 again. F1 um, is you can, it's going to be that force, unknown force times two, is equal to five times 100, or 100 times five, I should have written there. But you still get the same idea, it's still force times distance, okay? So, we can say that this is 2, 2 times F1 is equal to 500, right? So to work out F1, we just bring this over to the other side, this number 2, and what we'll end up doing here is we'll end up dividing, okay? So F1, bring 2, of, since it's 2 multiply, we bring it across here, it's going to be 500 divided by 2, is equal to 250 newton meters. I'll put that down below. Again, cramming that right in at the end, aren't I? I should keep on doing that. I should just make sure I give myself a nice big space. But that's how you work out like an unknown force. And you can do the same with an unknown distance. And I might have to drop one of these in here. I wonder if I can have a go at that just now, actually, before we disappear. So again, looking at a beam, and this time what we're going to do is have a, a force of 10 newtons a force of, say, 50 newtons. That's where my mental maths will come into play now. We'll give this as a, I don't know, five meters, and we'll give that as an unknown distance. Okay, so again, F1, so 10 times a question mark is equal to 50 times five, force times distance. Okay, so 50 times five is 250. Okay, so what's this question mark? Well, this is distance really, isn't it? So I should have put that as a D, but we'll, we'll work on that. So now this time again, 10 is multiplied this, so D times 10 
is equal to 250, so distance, we'll bring this 10 across, 250 divided by 10 is equal to 25. Okay, and that makes sense. It makes sense, isn't it? Because this force is five times bigger than this force, isn't it? So it makes sense this distance here, an unknown distance, is going to be five times this distance, which it is, to balance it out. So it starts to make sense, you can start looking back at that. And if I look back at the forces one as well, <laughs> upside down, I look back at the forces one as well, what did we get? 250, so 250 over 2 metres, or 100 over 5 metres as well. So that looks at that. So you can see that, and it's 250 times 2 is going to be 500. It's the same as this, isn't it? 100 times 5 is going to end up being 500 to balance that out. So that is intro into moments, force times distance, being able to work out whether beams are balanced, whether to how to work out an unknown force or even an unknown distance. Okay, I'm going to leave that alone now, so it may be annoying people shifting that about constantly. So, thanks for watching and stay safe.